My name is Sam Andreski. I am the veterinary technician here at the Greensboro Science Center. And yesterday we did an anesthetic exam on our five-year-old black-footed cat, Huck. What you're gonna see today is an anesthetic exam. That's when we knock down our animals. We can do a full physical. This happens every other year for all of our animals on site. After getting our initial vitals, we intubated Huck. And so that allows us to breathe for him while he's under anesthesia. You will see us tying in his intubation tube, his endotracheal tube into place. That tube is placed, as I said, in his trachea. And that just allows us to give him breath while he's under anesthesia and make sure we can closely monitor how he is doing. Once he was intubated, we had a special guest here that was actually collecting semen from Huck. So that took precedence over our routine exam and we were able to do the exam in between those sample collections. After collection, Shelly will examine the semen for overall motility and a sperm count that will allow us to know if this sample can be used for future population management. While Huck was under anesthesia, we took that opportunity to collect a blood sample, which we will send out to the lab to give us a baseline for Huck's blood work. We also got a weight on Huck, so he was 1.9 kgs a day, which is roughly four pounds, as well as updated his annual vaccine. So they do get those vaccines every other year, and today he received a rabies vaccine as well as a feline distemper vaccine. Huck received an ultrasound while he was under anesthesia. That ultrasound was conducted by Erica, who is our visiting fourth year veterinary student from NC State University. She's taken that opportunity to get a better look at his internal organs and their functionality. And so she was definitely taking a closer look at his kidneys during this particular ultrasound and everything looked great. We also take this opportunity to take survey radiographs or x-rays of Huck while he's under. So you'll see us move Huck from our general table into x-ray. We will also step out of the room for x-rays. That allows us to be behind a lead-lined glass. We're lucky in that our public can view the x-rays from outside the window because the window is also lead-lined. Um, so we're just taking these radiographs to make sure that everything inside of Huck looks as good as it seems on the outside. And we'll use these in the future to see changes over time. And just like we thought today, all of his x-rays look great. While animals are under anesthesia, they're unable to maintain their body temperature. So you'll see us frequently go leave the room, get some warm towels and provide him some extra added heat during that procedure. We also have him placed on a warming blanket as well as additional warming underneath. So we work really hard uh, to keep them warm under anesthesia so that their recovery is as smooth as possible. You'll notice that on recovery, Huck is still a little foggy, and that is completely normal. We're only able to reverse one of his two drugs on board, but that allows him to wake up a little bit slower and more comfortable. As expected for a five-year-old cat, Huck looks great and is in tip-top shape. It was awesome to be a part of a collaborative effort between ourselves, NC State, as well as the Henry Dorley Zoo and Huck to help further conservation. 